Tuba, good morning. I am sure many people will be relieved to see that Durban, at least, is taking safety issues this festive season seriously. Yes, uh, good morning, Pratian. That's um, really indeed going to be a relief to thousands or millions of people that uh, are going to be flocking here into Durban as uh, we are starting, we are beginning the festive season. We know that um, last year they had um, expected or they had over 3 million people visitors that uh, visited the city and then this year alone they are expecting just above that number and that uh, again they are also expecting um, those people to lift um, millions and billions of runs. But uh, what worries people is the issue of safety um, during those festive season. Whoever who is here, they want to be assured that they're going to be saved um, as they are coming here. But I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to speak to the head of economic development in Eteguini, uh, Philip Stolle. Thank you so much, Jobe, for your time. Take us through, I mean, Behind me, I can see that uh, there are police, metropolis that are getting ready for the parade. Tell, take us through uh, what is the launch all about today? Well, the launch today is about um, making sure that everybody who will be coming to Devon uh, must get assurance from us that, firstly, um, people will be safe. Secondly, that there will be no crime. So we want to ensure that um, the, the main tourist attractions, they are crime-free and they are clean. Okay, take us through how many people, how many police officials are we expecting? And there is also an issue of the cleanliness around the city. Yes. Well, the number of police, uh, the number of policemen who will be working uh, during the festive season um, has been increased um, from the normal number. Um, we have added uh, close to 290 police officers that will be working throughout the festive season, which is between um, today and up to the second week of January. So that's the number in as far as police are concerned. And they will, they will be working 24 hours. There will always be police presence at the beachfront and also in other uh, parts of the city which are tourist attractions. Secondly, in terms of the cleanliness, um, we have increased the number of people who, are, who will be cleaning this, this, the, the entire city, including the beachfront, by more than 400 uh, people. So we have employed um, around nine service providers who will be employing close to 200 people. So that's the number that is included into the number of uh, Deben Solid Waste workers who are working here at the beachfront. So all in all, the number of um, cleaners that will be here at all times, there will not be less than 300. And the total number is more than 400. The, the shift system has been made uh, in accordance with the, uh, the vis um, um, is, it has been made according to the times when visitors will be here. Another um, thing, uh, Babu Sole, is that um, Whoever that will be coming, they want to be assured. We are talking about the safety, but how are we going to ensure that those people, they are able to get access, especially the, the, the motorists? I understand that this, this year you are introducing a new system. Well, there's a new system that we introduced last year, but we're going to improve on it. We call it park and ride system. So there are areas within the city that are dedicated for parking, and there will be buses that will be collecting people from those areas into the beachfront and from the beachfront back to where cars are being parked. Um, so Centrum site is one of those sites and also the drive-in site. So we started this arrangement last day. It worked, it worked perfectly and this year we are doing it again. It has been improved. So the buses that I'm referring to, that will be ferrying people from these two stations that I referred to, uh, are paid for by Etewin municipality. The reason why we are doing this, we want to make sure that there is no congestion of cars uh, into the beachfront. And the, the, the years ago, you introduced the wristband for, for, for children. Take us through how does that has helped the city to, um, uh, to, to decrease the number of missing children around the, 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 the festive season? Well, the number of... Um, we have made sure that we, we increase uh, the number of... Um, child minders. So we are going to continue with that system. 
Uh, we'll be having several stations within the beachfront. So this helps uh, in as far as making sure that um, parents, they, they don't lose their kids at the beachfront. Uh, kids are being protected. Where the child is lost because of the wristband, uh, Metropolis and the child minders are able to connect with the parent. Thank you so much. That was the Teguini Head of Economic Development, Ubabu Philippus Tole, telling us uh, that um, they part of their festive festive season uh, safety campaign is the safety pen that they have they introduced uh, years ago where a child um, they put a, a, a wrist a, a band on the wrist uh, with the contact details of the parents so that wherever the child gets missing they are able to trace it back they trace the child back back to you in studio then thank you very much